Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how to integrate Visual Studio Code with Sigwin and by using the, um, the terminal feature in Visual Studio Code to actually run Bash from Sigwin. If we, um, so just to confirm, uh, you should have Sigwin installed. And I've got the font there a little bigger so people can see. You can see that we've got Sigwin installed. I'm going to close that. And Visual Studio Code, I've got this installed. And I'll close the welcome there. And we'll get rid of that for now. So uh, in order to view the terminal in Visual Studio Code, you can go to View and Terminal. And you might have noticed there that if you go to View and Terminal, there's a shortcut, Control Back Tick. So if I do that here now, Control Back Tick, you can see how that toggles the terminal. And at the moment, I've got Command Prompt here. I can also select a different default shell of PowerShell. And actually, let's try closing that and do that again. Or actually, yeah, so if we exit there and do control back tick and now PowerShell starts. So the idea is how can we add, um, PowerShell's you know, fantastic for Windows people out there, um, or so I'm told, and command prompt is a very uh, weak cousin. Uh, it's very limited, but um, if you don't want either of those two, in our case, we don't want to use those, uh, we want to use Bash in Sigwin. Um, you know, what is the process to getting that hooked up? And there are a few different ways you can do that. Um, you know, one way would be just to run, let's see if we can, see if we can do this. Uh, Sigwin uh, bin bash, oops. No, we want bash, there we go. Um, and if I add in the, the argument dash dash login, so now we've got a bash, bash shell there. But that's a, that's a little bit cumbersome. And I was thinking, is there, you know, there must be a better way to be able to launch that. And sure enough, there's a, an extension called shell launcher. And there it is there. And so I'm going to go ahead and click install. And actually, I'll close the terminal here. And here's some instructions on how to get it installed uh, or set up. So the first thing we need to do is add um, the this uh, keyboard shortcut. I probably still have it installed from when I was testing this out here. But let's go to the gear here, this, uh, this manage icon, and go to keyboard shortcuts, and then click over here to see the shortcuts JSON and yeah I've already got it added here but what you want to do is um, what you should see is probably something like this or like this highlight that and paste in the um, this JSON that defines the key command or the keyboard shortcut for the for shell launcher so that's gonna be control shift T okay and then you'll want to save it and let's close these now. Um, so if we scroll down a little bit more, we've got, um, we need to find, we need to add the, we need to add a shell for the, for this settings uh, config. So let's go here to settings. And was that a launcher? And here we are here, shell launcher shells, Windows, a list of shell configurations for Windows. So let's click edit in settings. And actually I've already got it here. Um, what we should do, I'm gonna remove this and walk through it with you. So I, let's copy, let's copy this. And for shell, what we're going to do is change this to Sigwin64. And then here we know there's a bin directory. And then the name of 
the executable is bash.exe. And the label, we'll change that to sigwin bash. And the reason I'm going to place this first in this list is so that this, when, it, when we launch the, uh, the launcher, this will come up first in the list. Um, we need to pass an argument though. So there's this uh, option for args and it takes an array and we're going to put in dash dash login and make sure that there's a comma there. And one more thing that we're going to do is add in launch name and we're going to we're going to we're going to put in this I can type sigwin bash what that will do is when you launch the editor or launch the terminal this will show up in the list this will be like the label for the actual um, terminal itself yeah, I'll show you what you mean I'll show you what I mean shortly here so let's get that done and now if I do control shift T I should see sigwin bash when I select it you notice here's the launch name here so if I maybe let's try closing that I'll just add in something there control shift T and you'll notice that there's the launch name there so I'm get rid of that close this control shift T again sigwin bash and I can use I can move that around with the keys as well and there we have it we have access to bash from sigwin in the terminal so when we're working with as I go through future videos the idea is that um, we'll use this to sort of navigate um, the uh, you know the shell within you know Visual Studio Code and one really nice thing is if we do code um, that's the actually if I type dash version what happens here oops that's, boy. you'll notice there that's that this is actually code anyway the point is that code is actually the Visual Studio uh, executable and it's on the path it's available as a command line uh, program so when I um, when I type code test.txt this will open up you see what happened there opens up the file in the editor which is really cool and I can save it you know this is a test and when I save it and if I go back to the editor so that I just in order to go back or to open the terminal I just do that control back tick and here, say if we did a cat on test.txt, you notice that it outputs the contents of test.txt. If we, um, if I did a code uh, test.sh, and um, so we're going to write a little bash script here, and we do echo hello. Hello from the script. Save it, and if I if I try running it, let's see what is that test.sh. There, hello from the script. So that's pretty useful because now now we have this integration set up. We've got a decent text editor to work with, and within that editor we can. Uh, use Sigwin and the benefits of having Sigwin installed.